Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long. And in this video, we're looking at the second part of our direct poll video series. The first video, we looked at how we set up a poll using the website direct poll. You can go check out it. Basically, we went to direct poll and we created a whole bunch of questions that we want to poll our students in a live opinion or discussion. Just a reminder, just to recap, particularly the previous lesson, you must make sure that you get the cockpit link. It's very important because this website doesn't allow you to log on. So you can't come back and log on and get your previous polls. This is the way that you get it. You can get your links emailed to you, but sometimes that doesn't always work. Make sure that you at least copy that link so that you can always come back to this page and you can start your poll or edit it when you need to. So that's what I did. I saved that link and then I opened it now in a new browser. And so now I'm ready. I'm in the class and I want to start this particular poll. Before I started, how do my students know where to go? Well, I need to go to the the advanced links. So you have the general links. You could get the QR code. So if you've got a PowerPoint presentation, you can actually just go and check this in a new tab and you can go see what the QR code would look like and save this in your particular presentation. If you've got that, there's the link to go to the actual poll when you want to start it. I'm going to click on advanced links and I'm going to come here to the poll where you want to show the QR code. That's the one I really want to use. So I'm going to click on this one and you'll see it'll open up a new tab and the link and the QR code will be displayed like this. There we go. So that's what I would display in my classroom. So students on their devices, if they've got like a phone, they can scan in that via the projector and then they can get that particular link. So I'm going to get a couple of my browsers to get to that link quickly. So there we go. Each student would have something that looks like this on their screen. I've got multiple people that are joined into this particular poll. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the cockpit and here's where I can start it. So I'm going to click on start. It starts with the first question. Let's go look at what it looks like. So that's what it looks like at the moment. If I go to what the students will see, there's an example of what the student will see. So they can see the question and they can vote. Well, how do you feel? Oh, well, this person, they say, yeah, I feel very good about this lesson. As they vote, you'll see the results have appeared over there. So if I just drag that down, you can see that's 100%. But unfortunately, this student over here, they seem okay with the lesson. And they click OK, and you can see there. And then on my phone, I'm going to also vote for another one and click on vote. And so there we go. And it works out the statistics for you as you go along. Because I'm running it through here, I can also manage the questions over here. So I can pause it and I can move to the next question. I can stop it and so on. You can also do it via the cockpit over here if you want to move to the next question. So let's just go to the next question and click on next. Next question. Now on the screens, you'll notice that the, it's now changed to the next question. I don't know, Mr. Long, do you like red? And you can click vote. And then the other person's going to vote yellow. And on my phone, I'm going to vote a particular color. And so we can see the results now. So everyone's, there's a whole bunch of them. So this is the last question. But if I click on next, it'll actually tell me, hey, that was the correct one. So there you can see what it looks like if you have indicated that one of the answers is the correct one. So you can then discuss that particular topic. And, so on. and there we go. That's the end of my quiz because there are only two questions. And then you can obviously stop the quiz. And so there we go. Let's go back to the cockpit. And so there we go. So we've stopped it. And if you want to run it again, then you can obviously run it again and so on. If I scroll all the way down right here to the actual results of a specific question, here's where I can see the results of the individual questions. So I can click on that and it'll show me because the quiz has ended, the polls ended. There I can see the results of the first question. And if you want to, you can save this as an image if you want to keep track of it. Reminder that you don't log on for this. So you can't come back to these results. It will expire after a certain number of days. So all this data will be gone. So if you want to keep track of this data, I recommend that you do save it. And there's the results for the second question. So this is more for individual polls. So you can see nice little live polls as you go on. So that's a nice little way to do a quick poll. You don't need to log on. So I find it a very useful tool for like informal little discussions or to get opinions. It's a nice little tool that you can use and you can see the results live and the students can see how they feel about the different questions. So I hope direct poll can be a useful tool in your lessons. You can support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and sharing us with your friends so that we can help other teachers. Click on the playlist option to see other lessons and tips that can help you in the classroom. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.